Yeah, my lord said, this is the one that uh, Aaron Chuk, but the Lewis, I think it was, described it as, uh, let me see how I got one. Next one. Next one. And it is from the headquarters of the whole landscape movement or whatever the remnants of it. And that's it. The Appalachian Association. Okay. And that's it. And we can move to the next group. Interviews, opinions, and articles. There are two very important articles that I consider important that was written. One by Wayne Lewis, Thorpe and Lewis at the Nation. And the other one was by Dr. John Gilmore, who had joined the National Cultural Foundation just before he left. And he's back at the university in the UK. And neither one added anything new substantially. And at first, oh, before you go any first, let me acknowledge a number of people. Nancy, who has written extensively on the landship linking to Africa. Um, Marcia Berth, Marcia, where you are? Coming back. Coming back. Marcia. Here. Here. <laughs> Marcia Berth. Not here. Right. Alveston, is Alveston here? No. Um, yeah, Alveston Downs also has written. Uh, and, okay. So keep moving on to the right. Nepal, you can come to something like that. I must tell you, in 79, there, there, there's a little mythology um, that I saw in John Gilmore's article about Tupac. Sure, there was a camouflage by using the military crimes in its performance. But you know, when we went to Havana in 1979, I was more shocked to find out whether English, whether French, whether Spanish, whether Dutch, every single person that went to Cuba. Panama, Costa Rica, more words, all news, cities, on grounds, triangles, or flutes in that combination. So there had to be something more than just British or English influence, as people like to live on the Barbados situation, which is one of the reasons I question the intellect and the intelligence of some of the, the, the people who wrote off Barbados. And I, 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 if you want to know the ridiculousness of it, read John Cowley's book on Calypso and the role that agents play in all aspects of the developed of uh, so stick licking. And Ken Johnson's book on the steel band. And he will show you all the way through, including Joseph Griffith and several other people. Okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, keep going. Well, let's just see articles and some pictures and, uh, and so on um, that appeared in the Asian magazine and, and so on. There's a difference between maneuvers and parades. And several people tend to mix them up, including Jonathan. The parades are very strict, as you will see, almost military. As military as you can expect a landship to try to be. But maneuvers, that is where the dance and the traditions and the individualism come to form. Let's go. Yes, keep going. Okay. 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 That is not a parade. That is 
is that what I'm saying? I want you to clearly understand the difference between the two. Go on. I can see it a little bit. Okay? And this is what most pages enjoy. Okay. This is a beautiful panoramic shot of the action of the United States. Okay, go to the parades. If you can get to the parades, that's it. Just to show the contrast. See how stiff the body is at? At ease. This is the closest part to the military that the two fierce landship has two personalities, because the other personality of the maneuvers and the dance is what essentially makes the landship even more unique to the world, the darkness of the world. Keep going. See, you stuck again. When man died in war, who would fire one or two rounds to the fellas after this parade, and that the type of man was in the old. Practicing drama. That, that was Major Banfield, wasn't it? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And go so on. Thanks. And he is again. Okay. I did a lecture for the Kiwanis um, early in the year at the Savannah Club. You know where the Savannah Club is, by the way? Anybody? Anybody know who, what the Savannah Club was? Anybody, seriously, you know, when you're at the garrison, you see a big cop? Yeah. On the that cop was the Savannah Club. Let me tell you, just to, just to relieve what I'm saying, let's let me tell you something. In there, there were some pictures of numerous parades, not one in Lanchet. They had Gergites, they had Boris Cubs, they had Coast Guard. That uh, police, that St. John's Ambulance Brigade, that Red Cross, but they had no lunch in. But let me tell you, Mr. Panic Talk for a minute, because it has relevance. There was a man in St. Philip, a white planter, who owned Four Square Plantation. You go in there and you call us in Philip. But he had a black woman. And he set her up as a shopkeeper in Woodburn. You know where Woodburn and the oil is? Up above St. Patrick's, just around the corner from where they could see who no owns for spirit. And he had a daughter from this black woman. And he drove all over Barbados in the buggy, looking for somebody to marry this daughter who he was in love with. And he found a man in St. Bottom St. George, <laughs> who was an overseer by the name of Smith. And he said, Listen, I want you to marry my daughter, and I will make you the richest man in St. Philip. And he said, Yes, I can come from one of the hills of Gasson. Yes. And he married him, and he gave him five or six plantations. And he and the woman had two children, a boy and a girl. The boy went to England where his proclivities were more accepted. <laughs> and the daughter remained in Barbados and became well known by the nickname Brown Sugar. Her name, Florence Smith. Came for his dish, and she married um, a New Zealand sailor who said he was a commander. Claim to be a commander. For his dish. And it is interesting the evolution of, of, of that. Okay, next. Okay. All at ease, right?
what will we do without having the handshake representing of the new evening? By the way, how many people know that a wash of women in Barbados used to wear all white? I used to go down Bay Street Spring, washing clothes, professional washers, people boats coming in and so on. And there became a bunch of noisy people when I migrated to Trinidad and we carry on the same thing in Canada, dressed up in white. Continue. Or at ease and so on. Right. This is going to be a good thing. You have this one too, right? Okay. All right. Beautiful. I'm sorry to check to know give you a lot of fine detail. Alright? That's a nice one to do. You see how you see how militaristic you look? Ponies. Okay? The paraphernalia basically is a lot of the items part of it. Keep going. Oh, you saw that already, guns. The next one, the swords. Next, this. That's a direct one, isn't it? Right, okay. And that. And really notice persons are prohibited from making it of a piece of speech. Okay. Drums. And then next. Bikes. That's a direct next. I want to find out which country that was. It was hanging in the director. That, that was 1973, 74, 75, the long way. Yeah, continue. And that's the director. I know he was the director, but I, didn't, I couldn't make out who it was. Thanks. Thanks, Go on. Imagination and creativity is beyond my imagination. 